Okay guys, uh, this is the third part of my, you know, uh, drawing a card game on a canvas. So last time we were able to, uh, you know, we were able to draw a random card, but just we were able to display on a... We were, we haven't completed, you know, displaying the sound and all those things. So very first thing, let's go ahead and um, let's write down a little code to play the sound. Playing sound shouldn't be that bad because we know... Um, Okay, we can uh, write a little method, something like this. Um, function play play sound. Play card name sound, and of course, you know, I want to pass a sound resource here to this method. Okay, so so basically, if the sound resource is found with with the given sound resource, what I can do is well, in the given sound sound resource is basically this path right here. So sound cards whatever the card is and that I have that now based on that now I have to all I have to do okay with the resources I'm gonna say bar uh, audio current audio equals to I'm gonna create a new audio okay I'm gonna create an instance of audio object which is you know uh, a SML5 element DOM element so to the audio it has you get you can I can set some resources like source of the audio would be sound resources that comes in sound resources plus web file okay and then once you have that information then I can call a method called play okay should be able to um, able to grab the file and grab the resources and should be able to play this one um, so now that I have that information, now I can say, now I can call my method, say play card name sound and pass the current card sound object. I mean, pass the sound property to it. And Let's see that play sound and also alert the current card to string. So it would be you know do a two string of that and then play the sound. Let's see. Seven of clubs. Seven of clubs. Seven of clubs. Six of clubs. Okay, great. So, because it's playing sound after that sound, so I need to have this after. So, I'm playing sound right away and then display that. Okay. Refresh it. Nine of hearts. Eight of spades. Six of diamonds. Okay. That feature is working now. I can play the sound. Now the last thing I have to do is I have to be able to render the render the image into the canvas, right? To do that, well, let's say um, bar image current image just to create a new instance 
of the JavaScript image subject. Okay, and then current image, I'm going to once the, I have an image, current image on load, I'm going to apply load method here. On load method, I'm going to assign an anonymous function. Right? What this anonymous function does, basically, I have a context here, my um, dot draw image. The image I would like to draw is, of course, the current image. And I'm going to set offset 0 and 0. I don't know. And then after that, I'm going to say the width and height of the image that I want to draw. So let's say 400 pixel by um, 400 pixel. Draw the image. Then, of course, you know, once you come out here, then you're going to say set the, the SRC property of the image. Current image dot SRC source of the image is going to be um, mm -hmm, <laughs> so okay. The king of his spades. So my images are here, and this is my car card. So. I have to now set the image to set the image so basically I'll do something like I have images directory inside that I have cards and then I, I will grab the current hopes I'll grab the current card here current cards of course, the image, green card photo, the picture, and the, and finally the extension of the image. They are all uh, that PNG file. Okay, now set that and set the comment semicolons. Um, okay, let's see. Fiber plus. Awesome. See? Ten of diamonds. Seven of hearts. Queen of diamonds. Okay, this is great. This is, you know, we're almost done. So the last thing I would like to do is, like, let's say, over here, I would also like to set the, the string. What I would like to print out what the string is, what the particular card is, right? So, um... Let's say to do that, I can write a method. Let's say draw. I think I already have a method somewhere. Draw text. Yeah, I have a method here. Draw text. So basically, I pass the current card and the context. And I basically, I have to clear the rectangle. Otherwise, it will overlap, you know, writing on the top of each other. So every time I, I write something, I would have to clear it. And I say the font. I say the font can be that. And say the fill style. Just to look it better, I just create a linear gradient color using JavaScript, and that color is set. And finally, all it does is draw the text. You write fill text method. The fill text method basically draw the you know a string into starting from 100x, you know going down 340x and y. Okay, play the sound, and then I will say draw. What did I name my method? Draw text. The current card in context. Yeah, it should be able to. Now, if we run this, I should be able to. Six of heart. Okay, it is writing, but it's kind of like overlapping in the top. Four of diamonds. So what I have to do, because this card is really big, um, so I have to set this X and Y code in it. I said starting from X is okay, but so I don't know, maybe go down 500 
pixel the y in it basically changing the y